Daily Dose here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about encyclidine, better known as PCP or even angel dust. We're going to be discussing this because it's something common that you can see in the psych setting and I've seen as well as a psych RN and the true, the true dangers of it. We'll go through a brief, brief history of what it was originally used for and from there we're, I'm just gonna discuss common things that you will run into if you are a psych RN or just general knowledge to know, once again, if you expect somebody using of it. Um, in particular, we'll go into post using, um, but yeah, we'll be talking about active use as well, but like and subscribe, let's jump right on into it. I've got a whole um, perspective series on just what it's like being a psych RN. Let's go and jump right on, in, right on into it. Okay, now first and foremost, it was, PCP was originally, originally used as an anesthetic in surgeries, but with time, what happened was with the severe adverse effects and side effects of this, of this drug, they made it, they quit using it. Now, today, why it's so, in my opinion, why it's so dangerous, it's because of how cheap it is, of how, like, how cheap it is and also a big example as well with it being so cheap is how easy it is to use as well now what i commonly see in the psych setting we will be touching on now and let's go ahead and jump right on into it so the first thing as well you have to keep in mind with pcp use is is it active use or is it the post use now you might be going what do you mean by that so active use meaning they're actively they've active they're actively using it and how they're reacting to it are they reacting in a positive way are they what are they telling you now this is something typically I'll just say in the psych setting if if suspected of somebody actively on it they're typically sent to the ER first because a lot of times they'll need things for example like maybe like IV a bag of IV fluids also just in general ruling out different things because in psych hospitals a lot of times you can't carry IV bags um, just due to the high potential of like a lot of patients having suicidal ideation and whatnot but so this a lot of times I don't see but I have before but once again so active use let's go ahead and go into it so first so is it their first time using um, that's really big as well a lot of times the severe reactions that I've seen to PCP with first time is a lot of time the first time is for them what brings them to the psych hospital because of not knowing it be not knowing what for example something's laced with accidentally taking some especially within like blunts or woods that's very common um, but yes and I mean when a lot of times what's reported if it's their first time is the losing control the hallucinations, um, in particular, in particular, in active use over here. Once again, hallucinate, hallucinating, feeling they can't control themselves. So once again, for the active use, is it their first time? I wrote right, right down here too. It is for in just in general. And this, these ones, these last two will apply to the post use. Cheap to use, very cheap to use. It's. It's a med it's something a lot of times in um, in the inner cities is a lot more common I've noticed in psych hospitals in general. Um, not saying it can't happen, you know, it can happen anywhere, um, but more common in the inner cities. And once again, it, a lot of times people are accidentally getting laced, you know, blunts. Um, and that's a big thing as well is a lot of times when somebody says, oh, it was laced with something, what that means a lot of times is laced with PCP, very, very common, or angel dust. Um, a lot of, another interesting thing I find with it is a lot of times patients reporting how it affects them. Some people report psych like they're in psychosis, they can't control themselves, becoming a very aggressive, some hallucinating, some, some people use it for the pleasure of it, make, it makes them feel good. But that's the thing, it has so many different uses. A lot of people use it sometimes for a downer effect or even a stimulant effect, surprisingly enough. Um, but now let's go ahead and go to post use. So, so right after using, or even let's just say a couple days after use, a lot of times you have to keep in mind with post uses, and what I mean by this is they're not using 
actively do they have a history of mental illness because a lot of times with the mental with mental illness it is if like after after using after a couple times of using if they're in psychosis the question comes up of history of mental of having a ment, of having mental illness for example schizophrenia schizoaffective disorder sometimes using PCP can cause you to develop these two uh, schizoaffective disorders or schizophrenia but that's very important about is there a history in the family of mental illness big I should have put history of mental illness how history of mental health illness in family because a lot of times that if history of it can cause things like schizophrenia psychosis things like that um, another thing mood swings very common and let me once again differentiate between this more so what I mean by post use really is more so like 12 hours post use active use what it's going to be like um, like when they're actively using but I will tell you that when they're coming down from it the post use is a lot more is a lot more uh, scary to the person using like 12 hours post mood swings are very common impulse control very poor impulse, poor, uh, impulse control if they even have impulse control sometimes I mean it, it's it's I'll tell you it's just something that if you've never seen it you wouldn't believe but it's it's very true um, once again aggression aggression is huge huge aggression is something that when it comes to in my opinion to phencyclidine angel dust pcp in general is the aggress the aggression aspect because their strength can be honestly it seems like three times as strong one time we there was somebody who had uh po post use would come to the mental health high hospital walk in and this woman did not weigh more than in my opinion probably like a hundred pounds and the strength she had to hold her down and i know that like once again to give her to help her calm down we had to give her an im it was an, it took it took a lot of it took a lot of help so that's another thing i i i will say is with use what i think when you lose control and you need something to bring you down on it sometimes you'll you won't even realize it but you'll try to hurt somebody and then you'll wake when you come out of it you know you won't know what happened and that can just trigger a whole range of emotions but this is why i make these videos especially with some of these different um street drugs in general um is because these are things you can avoid so once again always be very cautious in general with what you're smoking in my opinion um never leave anything by itself in in my opinion when it comes to like smoking i don't trust anyone what they're saying who knows where they got it unless it's truly valid you know dispensary grade for example um but once again once again, i just want to do this because the aggression is what leads to a lot of people getting hurt and injuries but also um i just real quick wanted to touch on as well once again if you work in psych or you're thinking about working in psych working with people coming off of something can be the most rewarding but sometimes the most it can be very scary there can be dangerous situations and it's not what they're they just lose can sometimes lose control so just if you're you if, if using it please think about this in general also just remember you know there is help out there if you're needing help um but yeah once again i just wanted to go over from my perspective of what i see as a psych rn what pcp is like and just just a brief history taking it to the board but like and subscribe check out my other videos i'm doing 365 days of running i'm past day 200 i'm like on day 218 or somewhere around there and i'll also put a playlist in regards to uh my perspective of what i see in the psych setting as well love you all like and subscribe have a blessed rest of your week